Queensland Reds have appointed World Cup winning Wallabies prop Ewan McKenzie as head coach for the next three years. McKenzie, who replaces Phil Moody, is the seventh Queensland coach since 2000. The Reds rolling out another coach is now almost an annual event and just like those who've come and gone before him, Ewan McKenzie believes he has the answers and ironically it's all about change. I'm not scared of change, I like it. Um, obviously it, it does present problems for, for certain people, that's something we'll obviously have to address but we can't continue uh, doing the same things and expect to get a different result. Mackenzie, who himself was dumped just a month ago by Paris Glamour Club State Francais, beat former Wallabies and Queensland coach John Connolly to the job. I would have to say that uh, the process of selection, the, the due diligence around the position is one of the strongest I've, I've actually seen. Uh, I know that every, uh, everything was done by Daniel Herbert and his crew uh, in terms of referencing what I've done in rugby and what I can contribute. So um, it's been a very thorough process. Very proud to uh, to sit here in front of you. Mackenzie said one of his main aims was to reverse the ongoing loss of top class homegrown players who've defected to other franchises. I know. I already know that there's a bunch of players that are made even before I've been announced. There's a bunch of players that are interested in coming back for Queensland, so that's positive, um, and, and, I'm, and I know there's a few other people that are interested in coming, but they've got to be coming for the right reasons. Queensland's next step is to appoint a Chief Executive Officer. Uh, it's getting to the pointy end. Uh, we're down to about the last three candidates. It's been very hard. We're out to all outstanding uh, candidates, so um, I expect uh, some sort of movement in the next week, or hopefully. Sean Lawson, Fox Sports News. Fox Sports News on Channel 513. It's on all the time.